So we're now looking at the parametric EQ setting for our master outputs. If I go back to an input and select an input, we can now see the input EQ. So the console will remain in the current view if we change the channel. And also if we change the layer, the console will default back to the previously selected channel when we go back to that channel's layer. So it takes, uh, takes a couple of steps out of the navigation process in that if I go to the stereo channels and select one of the stereo returns and then go back to layer 1 to 16, it automatically selects the last channel I was using on this layer. Input metering, and we also have comprehensive metering showing the dynamics processing. So that is the action of the noise gate, the limiter, and also a gain reduction meter for the channel compressor. If we just have a look at the effects processors, we have two effects sends. Each send accesses three separate effects processors. Now by default, the effects processors will source from the respected effects send, but I can assign the three effects processors in each bank to source from one of the other auxiliary sends instead. So in effect, I have six separate effects processors, which then mix back into the stereo master outputs. I can also blend the effects together, so I can take the output of the first effects processor and route that directly to the mix, or I can send the first effects processor to the second effects processor and also to the third. So I can daisy chain the effects together, I can drive them from separate auxiliary sends, or I can run them in series of one of the dedicated effects send buses.